Welcome back once again in uh, starting out the week. So this is the first of those wing skin molds. And as you can see, it's been released from its plug and it came out nicely. So it needs to have the uh, rubber profile uh, removed there and then uh, trimmed around the edges and then some um, bracing just to sort of around the outside edges just to sort of uh, give it a bit more support. And that one will be ready uh, to lay up. And here are those uh, brackets for uh, the gear mount positions for the landing gear. And you can see uh, Jeff has just rough trimmed them now. They still need to have those flanges cut back a little bit further just to uh, save some more weight. Um, but they came out uh, nicely, so another step closer towards having all the pieces so we can uh, start bonding the fuselage together. And they still need the holes drilled in them uh, where the actual axles are going to mount through um, for the gear and the retraction mechanism. And here's the one that actually sort of sits into the main spar, or one of them. And as you can see there, that still needs to be trimmed back a little bit there so it matches up the cap of the spar. But uh, it sits nicely in there and obviously it'll be bonded into place. And these are the roof panels for our makeshift oven. So they're just getting uh, finished off there because we uh, picked up some more of that uh, insulation board there and as you see the guys are just putting down some metal tape just to feel uh, to close the seam there and so this is the second one of the wing skin molds and you see Jeff is basically halfway through uh, spraying the black top coat on there and this was obviously uh, today and uh, the guys were in uh, working on that a little bit later so our engine mount arrived back from Brit and it all welded up as you can see so there's all the different work you did on uh, those particular tabs for where the actual engine mounts bolt up to and there's the front ones there that he welded those up as well and even you'll see here a sec in a second there on the top or what's really the front he uh, put little caps on those round tubes there that that wasn't capped off originally when it, uh, Mark did it so it's looking really good and just to give you an idea of how it's going to sit there I had the guys uh, hold it in place there with the firewall and it's a little bit they've got a little bit pushed further forward and what it's actually going to live so it'll be coming back out a little bit there from where it is but you get the idea so firewall there and engine mount on there coming together and just putting a couple more pieces of the puzzle together so here's the aft bulkhead and then the two a-frames that we laid up a little while ago that sort of separate the two and then the firewall and then the engine mount and so they're all kind of just sort of clamped together and well the engine mount is bolted to the firewall there but not sort of hard bolted yet just basically set in there and there's the A-frames and this is your baggage compartment in there and uh, so you can see through there and that's uh, it's pretty decent size I mean you know as far as airplanes go it's a decent size baggage compartment and uh, this little channel area here that you're looking at right there that's where the parachute um, box will live so that will compromise some of your space in the baggage compartment if you choose to have the parachute because um, it'll basically run down that back wall there. It's 8 by 11 and 33 inches tall. And here the guys are just piecing together this um, bracing for that first uh, wing skin mold. And you see it's just sitting back on its plug right now. So just basically making it out of foam like they normally do. And here's the one that they just did uh, this evening. So that's basically got the two layers of um, light or one layer of lightweight and then medium there and bit peel plied so tomorrow that'll get the core on it and get closed out and be done so that one's looking good and here's the engine bolted into the engine mount for the first time so no hoist holding it into place or anything like that and Jordan has been in and he's uh, slowly piecing all the things back together because it was a part so we could pull out the fuel pump high pressure fuel pump so anyway all that stuff's coming back together and you can see there's a new uh, AC compressor on there and things are really starting to come back together and you'll see more of that uh, going forward and finally with the help of turbo kits there up in Connecticut I finally got the what's pretty much close to the finished layout for the uh, turbo setup the uh, compound turbo as you can see here and uh, I'll sort of walk you through it here a little bit so the first turbo, which is the one in the middle, is a slightly smaller than the other one that's one that's on the left. And so uh, the exhaust goes from that one out of that and then into the second one and then runs out of the aircraft. So that's the hot side. And then uh, where you see the intake there on the right side, that basically feeds into the first turbo and then out of that into the second turbo. And then that runs up through the intercooler, which is at the top of the picture and then out of the intercool and then that will run into the intake of the engine so it's it's not very complicated but getting it all to fit under our 
um, cowling and stuff was a little bit tricky and there's only really one solution to this problem and this is basically it. And compared to what we had before with the single turbo, this one is running internal wastegates on both of the turbos, so it eliminates all of that complicated uh, wastegate plumbing, which is really nice, and uh, adds a little bit more, um, I guess, difficulty in getting everything to line up. But overall, it's a much cleaner solution. And with the turbos we've chosen, this uh, setup should be capable of somewhere between 320 and 375 horsepower. And we could probably uh, get a little bit more out of it if we needed to, but you know, obviously we don't want to stress the engine. Anyway, that's our update for the first half of this week, so thanks again for watching.